Hey everybody, happy Friday. We made it through another week. <sighs> Woohoo, it was a long one. I wanted to wish everybody a happy and safe holiday weekend because some people will probably start celebrating tomorrow. And I just wanna tell all the soldiers and their families, thank you so very much for your sacrifice for um, just watching over us and making sure we're safe. I go to bed and I wake up every day in a free America because of a soldier that I will never meet. It says nothing's gonna happen to you, not on my watch. I love that and I'm grateful. The 4th of July is my favorite holiday. I know some people like Christmas and some people like Thanksgiving. I love the 4th of July. Maybe it's the Marine in me, I don't know. But I love the fact that we fought so hard to become the country that we are. And even though we see all these crazy things going on on the news and the television, it does not change the fact that we are one of the greatest nations to ever rise to the power that we have risen to because we care, because we fight for people who can't fight for themselves, because we stand up for the little guy. We always have, and I pray that we always will. There's this verse that says, um, it's Psalm 33, 12. Blessed is the nations whose nation whose God is the Lord. If we will continue to seek God, to humble ourselves and ask him to heal our land, I believe he will. Continue being the Christian American light that you are. Don't stop. It does make a difference. People are watching. It does matter what you do. It matters if you stand and put your heart, hand over your heart when they say the Pledge of Allegiance or when they sing the national anthem. It matters. I love the movie, The Patriot. We see what our forefathers gave and sacrificed so that we could be free. I remember um, telling you, and I don't know if you remember, that um, I could chase, trace my ancestry back to 1740, James City County, Jamestown, when it was still a British province. My ancestors fought in the Revolutionary War. And we had family on both sides. We had Scots and we had the English and we had the colonists, and in the end, when it was all over, we became allies. We helped each other. And that is something that we continue to do as Americans in our everyday lives. Sometimes we disagree. Sometimes we don't, you know, b believe the same thing that someone else does. But when the chips are down, we stand up for each other. We fight for each other. We encourage each other. We protect each other. Because we are all Americans. I love you all so very much. I wish you the happiest 4th of July with your families. Remember the soldiers who are here who um, I have, I don't know what it's called. It, it is a type of PTSD, but from the fireworks and it can trigger them. If you live next to someone like that, be mindful. They gave so much for us. And if you know a soldier story, this 4th of July, share it. Share the stories that they, and sacrifice that they did for us. We have to remember what they did. We can't let those stories remain untold. I love you all so very much. Remember when you're driving to be kind this weekend, to let people in and that we are all celebrating the freedom of this great nation. I love you so very much. I pray that you would share the love of Christ with someone and that tonight when you lay down, that you would sleep sweet and that God would bless you and you would lay down in peace and wake up in peace. I love you all so very much. God bless and happy 4th of July. I'll talk to you later. Bye.